What the Prime Minister thought is that while we create that digital highway, I don't want India to be only a service nation. India must translate into a product nation. And so it was a difficult decision that he took. But when BSNL was moving down the, the transition from 3G to 4G, the decision was taken that we will move down that transition inventing our own 4G stack. And mind you, people were scoffing at it. Why? Justifiably so. Because there are only four countries in the world that have done it successfully. Korea with Samsung, China, China Huawei and ZTE, Siemens, Nokia, Finland. Only four countries in the world. But he made up his mind that we are going to do it. And so you had the most unthinkable group working together. You had CDOT, a government company, working along with Tejas, a private sector company. CDOT developed the core. Tejas developed the RAN, the radio access network. And then you had an SI, a system integrator, which is also an Indian company, TCI, TCS. So you had a complete consortium, Indian consortium, working that out. And within 18 months, we developed our own 4G stack. So we are today the only fifth country in the world to do so. And mind you, that 4G stack is not something sitting in the cupboard. It's being rolled out as we speak. 100,000 sites are being rolled out by BSNL. It's something I monitor on my dashboard, not on a weekly basis. I monitor it on a daily basis. Beginning of day and EOD, end of day. We are rolling out 100,000 sites. We have con constructed 75,000 sites as we speak in the last six months, seven months, of which 60,000 sites have been optimized. We will complete this task latest by June of 100,000 4G sites. Now, converting them from 4G to 5G is not that difficult. You need to put in additional BTS, a little more infrastructure. You can use the same media, the same core, not a problem. And that's going to give us the leapfrog solution for 6G. And what we're doing in 6G, we started with the Bharat 6G vision document that was uh, released by PM in uh, late 22. Uh, we've already put together a Bharat 6G alliance, which covers private sector companies, IITs, academicians, uh, research people. We've put their working together. And in the ITU, the International Telecom Union, we've already put in a paper that has been accepted as one of the principles of 6G. And that is ubiquitous connectivity. Connectivity for all. That's already been accepted. We have a target of contributing 10% of the patents to 6G. Of which, let me tell you, Navika, we are among the top six nations today in terms of contributing patents to 6G, as we sit today. We've put together the 6G test bed already. Uh, we've sanctioned close to 111 research projects costing about 300 crores. And we are well on our way in terms of putting in place a whole network of MOUs to work with 6G. Bharat 6G Alliance has tied up with America, Germany, Brazil, South Korea, the, the 6G Alliance is there to work together in tandem with, with them. And therefore, I'm extremely confident, the statement that I made, that we followed the world on 4G, we walked with the world in 5G, we will lead the world in 6G.